This is Ricardo Escobar and welcome back. Today we are going to be connecting to MariaDB database engine using JetBrains data grip. So I already have um, the program installed. You can actually download it from JetBrains website. It requires a paid subscription, yet you may have, uh, I believe it's 30 days of trial, free trial with all the features installed. So I already opened it. So as you can see, this is a fresh install. I haven't done anything else. You are going to need to click here and choose data source. And by default, uh, you can choose a lot of things. Uh, for example, Amazon Redshift. Uh, that's a very popular one actually and azure sql database today we're going to be connecting to mariadb um, just to uh, like a quick note amazon redshift and azure sql database are cloud databases uh, if you are curious about that you can google it um what's, that was everybody told me anyway <laughs> so mariadb um, since this, this is the first time connecting to a mariadb database I'm going to need to do something uh, something else besides uh, setting up the settings here. My user is going to be root. My password is going to be 1234. Um, I don't have um, a particular database that I want to connect here. So I'm going to leave this in blank. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else as is. In this case, um, JetBrains Data Grip uses uh, the JDBC connectors. So you actually need to download the drivers in order to connect for the first time. The, uh, you only need to click here on the download link. The process is automatic. So once you have done that, you click apply and you already have a, a valid connection here. You can test the connection before closing the window by pressing test connection. And now everything seems to be just fine. You are getting uh, the name of the database engine, that's MariaDB and it's returning the actual version of MariaDB. Uh, click apply if you want, and then okay. And now you can see here that MariaDB connection is listed upon the, upon the database list. And you can expand this by clicking on the arrow button here. Um, here uh, on these folders, you have schemas, which you can actually expand, there is nothing here. And collations, uh, here are, um, this, these are basically the character uh, set collections that you are allowed to have here. So, and that's basically how you actually connect to a MariaDB uh, database engine using JetBrains Data Grab. If you wish to learn how to create databases, that's what's coming next. So stay tuned.